as well as me. So um, I will tell you about uh, how to manage an open source uh, like with uh, 700,000 active installations and no paid team. Uh, could be long the title. Um, <laughs> if you don't know me, um, this is the plugin uh, it's uh, all about. Um, and um, it is not from me, it's not from one of the, the team members, it is from um, some other guy from Germany uh, called Sandy Müller. And, um, he was uh, having uh, health issues and uh, um, was doing WordPress uh, only as a hobby uh, in his spare time. And he has family and uh, a job, um, obviously, and it was not sustainable to have a plugin um, and a family and a job, and uh, he wanted to get rid of it. But uh, so many people use this plugin to prevent comment spam, so. Uh, what to do, and he um, looked for people who would adopt it. And so, so we get all those uh, 12 plugins uh, from him, and uh, all uh, of them were free and the plugin directory, and um, we just wanted to, to keep them alive. And so uh, our team uh, was bunch of random people from the community um, and in uh, June 2015 we adopted them and uh, we called us the Plugin Collective and uh, that is the, our story and how we maintain uh, the plugin. So uh, the first, first thing is uh, what is our goal? Um, uh, in the first year, uh, he had really, really big issues about uh, to understand all uh, those code we don't have written ourselves, and so to get familiar with uh, GitHub, SVN, uh, and things like that. Uh, we are not proud of uh, the first year, but it worked. Uh, we managed to, to keep everything alive, and. Uh, um, we are well connected to other people in the community, so we could uh, ask for help and uh, the plugin uh, very close, so uh, we have not done anything badly wrong. So, the learnings from the first year. Um, sometimes you need to let go of some plugins. 12 plugins are uh, many, many plugins, and uh, sometimes it isn't a good idea, but uh, it is not uh, well received, or uh, it had its peak, and uh, now it is declining, and nobody is interested anymore. So sometimes you close plugins, and it's okay to close plugins. Uh, keep the focus on the uh, plugins you want to have alive and uh, developing uh, them, but uh, do not keep something uh, just because you want to. Don't close it. Don't underestimate uh, uh, how many time you need to understand code you do not have written yourself. And at least uh, one or two team members should always be available to do things, uh, react on uh, things. We have many struggles. And, uh, no secret, um, we are a bunch of random people and uh, we uh, need more contributors and um, people are coming, people are going, uh, we always need to advertise, hey, you can join us, you can work with us, you can help us, you can translate us, things like that. Uh, so. We need to do something uh, to get contributors. Um, you need to uh, know about us. Uh, uh, you need to you know uh, which areas need help uh, uh, and so on. So this is an ongoing task. Um, but we also need to keep our contributors because um, if you always uh, got 
boring task and you don't want to help anymore because it is boring. So um, do we have interesting problems for a developer or um, are there frustrating discussions? Uh, um, I don't want to do that because uh, GDPR uh, or um, this is not the right approach. Uh, um, you're a bad programmer, things like that. So uh, if you get frustrated in discussions and uh, cannot code uh, or translate or whatever you do, then uh, people will get away. Uh, and if you um, need at least some money to pay bills, uh, um, then maybe for someone who's uh, sponsoring uh, um, an interesting uh, thing. And uh, if you have an open source plugin, maybe um, th this is uh, something you, you need to organize. Um, you need to do marketing um, because uh, if you just have developers and uh, a good plugin uh, but nobody knows about you, uh, you still have no uh, active installations. Um, and uh, marketing is something we really, really do very bad um, and struggle about. Um, and we could be better in having more translations. Uh, there's a cool um, module um, which was developed by Yoast and uh, is now um, adopted by uh, someone else. Um, it displays this box um, and shows how many strings are, uh, or percentage uh, of your uh, plugins not translated, um, and uh, encourage the, the, the people to join as a, con uh, a contributor to the translation, uh, which you can easily uh, add to your plugin. Um, you need, to, uh, of course, support. You can't uh, disable the support forums um, on your plugin, so you should at least do something there. Uh, um, stick something and say uh, support is uh, um, in another place, uh, or um, make support there. Uh, and you need some uh, management. Um, um, for, for ongoing uh, uh, things, ideas. So, um, what are the learnings from, from this uh, struggle area? Um, my secret tip, document on the fly. So, uh, if, you, um, if you see, oh, there's not much time anymore, I need to have someone else uh, uh, join me. I need to onboard him or her. And uh, if I have no time, I have no time to onboard someone. So uh, this will not work, will not work out. So um, if you do something, document it while doing, and um, <coughs> so someone else can instantly take this documentation and replace you. This is the best thing you can do um, if you do something in open source. So success is not good code alone. You need more. And uh, uh, finding people, as I already said, is an ongoing task uh, in an open source world because people could go hired, could go fired, could um, um, move to another place, um, um, in other business, not purpose anymore, and uh, you need to always find new people. We're speaking from um, about uh, plugins. Uh, plugins uh, have uh, expectations. Uh, so if you have, um, you want to define a goal for your plugin, then you should at least um, fix the compact compatibility for every uh, recent major version of, uh, of WordPress. Um, you need to do a release. It just, uh, uh, it's just a modification of the readme.txt showing, uh, yes, this plugin is compatible with uh, the recent WordPress version. Um, 
if you want to be uh, uh, better to, or it's necessary to do a release, then uh, you can make a release for every um, new WordPress version. Um, this is what we are doing uh, for Artispambi at the moment. What you should avoid is being six months behind because security plugins will um, warn the people about oh, this plugin could be abandoned and you don't want that because people will ask hey, are you abandoned, still developed, um, what's the matter? Um, and you don't want that because uh, the main thing uh, I'm talking about here is keep unnecessary work away from you because maintenance and uh, um, things that uh, uh, need time that you do not have because you have a job or a, a paid job to do uh, you don't want uh, to do because it's uh, unnecessary. People could read the FAQ or people could um, uh, use your plugin and not ask uh, questions like uh, are you abandoned? So you should uh, avoid being six months behind and you should always uh, avoid being three major versions behind because then you not only get this uh, bad um, message about your plugin uh, but you uh, get penalty in the uh, plugin directory search and you do not want that. So learning is expectations should be saying to um, Getting millions of active installations is a nice goal, but uh, um, maybe not for your plugin. So, expectation uh, should be uh, do not break something and uh, uh, keep things alive um, because people will ask you. And, uh, this will uh, unnecessary. So, if you have a team of random people. Um, who are not paid, you still uh, need to get to decisions sometimes. So, how to get to decisions? Um, the question, um, who is um, contributing to WordPress and uh, is uh, um, in team meetings? In Slack? Okay. A handful. Okay. So, um, the team meetings uh, are following the same uh, workflow. You have an agenda post uh, which is telling, we will be talking about those things. If you cannot uh, be there, um, then you can comment uh, to leave your ideas or your critic, uh, uh, whatever, here in a comment. Uh, so it gets discussed. Then. There's a Zoom meeting, which is time box, so it is just one hour, not uh, longer. And at the end of the discussion, you need to have an actionable item. So a decision, or maybe the decision uh, will, be, uh, uh, will be moved to the next meeting. But this is also a decision. It's, uh, it must be actionable, nothing like we should do something about, or we, we can discuss later, uh, no, um, it must be actionable. And uh, after the meeting in Slack, you have a, uh, a post uh, which tells all those people who are not attending uh, the Slack meeting uh, what was discussed and uh, um, what are the decisions, uh, decisions made. So, um, Learnings, meetings need to have an agenda because um, if you do not have an agenda, um, things go on and on, and uh, you do not have an actionable item at the end. Um, meetings must be prepared because if you do not prepare something, you you cannot guarantee that you end up in one hour with an actionable item. And you should rotate who is leading the meeting because. Um, if I do that for a year, nobody else knows how to do that. And uh, um, 
if you rotate in your team, every uh, sees, oh, well, it's, it's really difficult to get to an actionable item in one hour. So everyone um, knows how difficult it is, and in the next meeting, uh, while well, this person is not the uh, leading um, uh, team member, um, he or she knows how um, difficult it is and uh, knows, uh, oh, maybe I, I should help him now. So, and you should always avoid uh, sentences with should because you always uh, want to, to be actionable in a way who will do it and when uh, will things be done. Marketing. Um, <laughs> you need to reach people and, and what could you done to, to reach people? You, you could do a talk on a work camp or a contributor day, uh, you could uh, talk on a meetup, um, you could post uh, in your blog about uh, things. Uh, we always do, um, we always, uh, we, we have done some hackathons uh, before the German work camps. Uh, with, um, all the uh, actual team members uh, meet and uh, we could discuss uh, things uh, face to face. And uh, WPCLI uh, was doing virtual hack days, uh, which is uh, um, a great uh, thing to do and uh, make some buzz about uh, the plugins. Um, all this can be summarized as you need to create something uh, that someone else could report about. Uh, so WP Tavern uh, will not uh, post about, wow, there is a new support forums thread, because that's not useful of you. So um, if you do something, uh, make something that is uh, remarkable, that is uh, uh, useful of you, and tell it about it. And uh, journalists uh, love story stories to tell, so uh, um, learn storytelling, learn about um, uh, how to make a good story, how to make uh, uh, maybe boring facts uh, a little more fancy. And um, some way to do this is uh, share your insights. Uh, uh, Katie Keith from Bar2 Plugins is doing this great on Twitter. She, um, she has uh, questions on Twitter, she shares insights from her uh, company on Twitter, and uh, all of those is not um, directly uh, a return of investment, uh, but every time she Twitters and uh, got interactions, every time people hear about, oh, there's this person, and she got a company, and the name of the company is uh, Baron 2, and uh, if you uh, if you need to decide which of those three, four plugins uh, I will test first, and you see, hmm, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, but I'm true, ah, I take this. And that's the whole thing. So, storytelling, uh, sharing uh, insights, uh, social media, um, great. Uh, celebrate your wins. Uh, we crushed uh, 9 million downloads, so I tweeted about it. <laughs> um, credits. Uh, credits are what we um, have done this um, from the first, uh, from the beginning, uh, but we um, have done it later. Um, every who is a regular uh, contributor should be on the contributors list uh, and not just plug and collective. Um, you should thank um, people like Pedro. Thank you. <laughs> uh, mentioned here the latest change log. Um, if someone helps you, so um, this could be another way to um, to get uh, good vibrations uh, for your client. So uh, the most important part, and I hope I have the time to um, to get this. Um, our tooling. We use GitHub. We use Slack. 
Uh, we use, of course, WordPress.org, um, our website and social media. And um, we use automatic deployment via GitHub action from uh, turn up, I think. Um, we check uh, WordPress coding standards. Uh, we use static code analyzer like the PHP stem. Uh, you could use GitHub Actions to check for typos, um, and you always uh, should answer timely on new issues, uh, pull requests, because um, if you don't hear back uh, after one year, so you, you think this is not uh, very well developed here, uh, because I get no uh, answers to my questions. Um, we use a a workflow called GitFlow. Um, so every um, change needs an issue. Every issue gets a uh, branch, and every from this branch there will be uh, created a pull request. So you can always see uh, um, you have an issue, discussion, uh, branch, uh, um, with. Uh, all those modifications and then at the end the pull request the final solution so if you're on github with your plugin uh, you should use uh, those uh, um, text uh, categories uh, and uh, you should add a backlink to your uh, plugin on the directory this could always help to get people to the uh, right place um, there are templates for um, uh, opening a new issue, and you should um, make at least these three for uh, what is the, um, the person opening for an issue. Is it a bug report, a feature request, uh, or it is uh, a security um, issue? This could be done on the organization level. Uh, so if you have 12 plugins like us, uh, you could do it uh, on the organization level, so you have not to do it uh, on every repo. Um, there are some formalized uh, files like contributing or security, code of conduct, which defines how the contributing is working, how to report security issues. Um, um, if you want to read more about it, I have a blog post in German uh, and uh, Yoast uh, as a blog post about it in English uh, on his um, blog also. So we integrated the support forums feed in our Slack. Uh, we integrated GitHub in our Slack. Um, this works great. If you have too many things that uh, come in one channel, uh, uh, make separate channels. We have uh, um, was too crowded for us, so uh, we make separate channels for all the GitHub uh, actions uh, um, uh, in our channel. So try to answer every uh, WordPress uh, support forums question because um, if you do that, um, the search uh, will rank you higher in the plugin directory and you also uh, get this uh, nice green mark that everything is uh, resolved uh, and you get this uh, nice little green check marks uh, which is always nice to see um, check from time to time your readme and your plugin header because uh, sometimes WordPress are always modifying things um, your email must be monitored because if it bounced, uh, so it um, uh, got rejected and uh, the plugin directory gets a bounce mail, that is not good because they will close you. <laughs> um, yeah, and I uh, recommend reading the Slack channel's plugin reviews and uh, forums. Uh, monitor them because uh, they are so important to, to see what could go wrong. and. Uh, you read there, uh, you know what can happen. So, what are the learnings? Automate everything. Uh, every recurring task needs a uh, process. Um, you must be responsive, timely, uh, 
answers or for all questions. Uh, make it easy that a newbie can follow all the things that have. So, I already have explained that. Uh, <coughs> trust people, um, invite them to your Slack, and um, in open source, you need to give them uh, something else uh, if they're not paid. So, you want to have an impact, or you want to learn something, or you need money. So, uh, if you don't give money, you um, need to give them something else. Give them uh, something to learn or uh, something they can change uh, on your plugin. Um, yeah, that's uh, the same thing. Uh, sometimes you need to define what's the exit uh, for your plugin. Um, do you want to sell it? Do you have a pro version? Uh, do you want to sell your support uh, or sell add-ons? Um, sometimes it is uh, important to know uh, what is behind uh, your plugin idea. So that's it. I hope. <laughs>